Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. In this sentence, the number of occurrences of the digit zero is blank, of the digit one is blank, of the digit two is blank, of the digit three is blank, of the digit four is blank, of the digit five is blank, of the digit six is blank, of the digit seven is blank, of the digit eight is blank, and of the digit nine is blank. The challenge is to fill in the blanks with numerical digits so that the sentence is true. I'll give you a hint. There are two solutions. Can you figure them out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So we can solve this problem by guessing. We know that each digit occurs at least once. So let's just try saying that each digit occurs one time. We'll do this for all the digits except the digit one. Now let's count out the number of occurrences of the digit one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can guess that the digit one occurs ten times. But we now have a problem with this sentence. The number 10 involves the digit 1. So we now have a total of 11 occurrences of the digit 1. So let's replace this value of 10 with the value of 11. Now when we do that, we have another problem. We've introduced another digit 1, so now we have a total of 12 occurrences of the digit 1. So let's replace this value with 12. When we do that, we actually introduce another digit two. So we actually now have two occurrences of the digit two. So let's replace the value for two to be occurring two times. When we do that, we've removed one of the occurrences of the digit one. So the digit one now appears exactly 11 times. And when we do that, it turns out we've stumbled across a solution. Everything in this sentence works out and this sentence is true. This is a solution to the puzzle. So the digit one occurs 11 times, the digit two occurs two times, and every other digit occurs one time. So we've come across one solution. How do we find another? We'll just make an educated guess. The digit one occurs 11 times, and that's a two digit number. Let's try and see if we can get, we can avoid double digit numbers, and let's suppose it just appears nine times. So we'll replace the value of 11 with nine. So where does this guess take us? Well, the first thing is that now the digit nine occurs two times. So we're going to say the digit nine occurs two times and we'll replace that value. We now have the digit two occurring three times in this sentence. So let's say that the digit two should have a value of three. When we do that, we now have the digit three occurring two times. So let's replace this line with the value of two. This brings us back to our three occurrences of the digit two. So everything looks good except for one problem. If you count out the number of occurrences of the digit one, we now have only seven occurrences because we've replaced a couple of occurrences of the digit one with the values of three and two. So we'll replace the value of nine to be seven. And now we have two occurrences of the digit seven and this replaces the two occurrences of the digit nine. So we can swap the values for the lines of seven and nine. And when we do that, we actually stumble across another solution. Everything in this sentence is accurate. There are seven occurrences of the digit one, the digit two occurs three times, the digit three occurs two times, and the digit seven occurs two times, and everything else occurs one time. 
So in summary, we have two different solutions. This is one solution of the puzzle, and this is another solution. Did you figure out the answer? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.